all right welcome back everyone to another video and a lot of you have been asking me questions about why i stopped making videos on fuchsia os and requested me to do more content around that so this is the answer to that basically they just crapped on uh, the user interface being able to run under a virtual machine and now the stage is that the fuchsia os has a user interface that only runs on actual hardware and that's a very 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 selected bit of hardware you can basically not run it anywhere else so uh, let's go ahead what has been the development and what's not happened in the fuchsia os lineup so let's talk about the kernel the fuchsia os had a kernel called uh, magenta that was basically took from the little kernel thing and it's a uh, micro uh, it's a custom micro kernel and all of that good stuff so it's now renamed to zircon zircon is a real time probably a real time uh, micro kernel and it's it's their custom kernel that runs on fuchsia that's all about that it was magenta convert renamed into zircon it's not different from magenta in any other way but what also happened was that was that the fuchsia os source itself got divided into layers uh, and now that's not just fuchsia and magenta it's a whole lot so the fuchsia has been divided into so that's the whole thing zircon garnet uh, zircon the basic kernel garnet probably has and stuff peridot a, a few more or more uh, bits and pieces and topaz is your upper level apis and your shells and your user interface and all of that oh yeah flutter flutter api and flutter user interface so that's the fuchsia layer cake um so now fuchsia actually runs well on their uh pixel notebook and i'm not surprised at all that's um it, it running ars technica had has a whole um whole article on that a few videos if you want to go ahead and watch it um apart from that it runs on a very selected bit of hardware it's x86 only gui for now they are trying it to get running on a few more arm based hardware and hopefully that comes soon so i can test it the problem with x86 is that it only runs on a certain number of intel nooks via hdmi and on a certain number of um intel hd gpu so i think that's only the 600 series i do have a 600 series gpu on my laptop but sadly fuchsia won't boot even through hdmi and it's not really a 600 series desktop gpu it's a workstation gpu so apparently they're a bit different and it's hard to get fuchsia working i was almost able uh, to get it to boot on the up board but that also didn't work uh, really well that failed miserably so i guess that's about it i really cannot get it to work the only thing i can get is a uh, command line interface and there hasn't been a whole lot that i can sh show you all more in a video kind of a way and make it entertaining but there is some development going on around fuchsia and all of that stuff but sadly that's all not that visible so thank you all for watching and and i hope you find out found it somewhat entertaining but that's the story about me not making any more videos on fuchsia uh, i hope the they they get a software renderer to work so we can go back to using it on a virtual machine but for now this is about it thank you so much for watching and hope to see you all in the next one